The European Super League, officially the Super League, is a proposed annual club football competition that would be contested by 20 European football clubs. Although only 12 clubs joined it, it is organized by the European Super League company, SL, a commercial enterprise created to rival the UEFA Champions League, Europe's premier club football tournament organized by UEFA. The announcement of the European Super League in April 2021 received wide opposition from fans, players, managers, politicians, and other clubs in England, the most represented country in the project. It also received opposition from UEFA, FIFA, and some national governments. Much of the criticism against the ESL was due to concerns about elitism and the lack of competitiveness within the competition as it would have consisted of only high-ranking teams from a few European countries. Backlash against the announcement of the league's formation led to nine of the clubs involved, including all six of the English clubs, announcing their intention to withdraw. The remaining members of the ESL subsequently announced they would reshape the project. Three days later, the ESL announced that it was suspending its operations, while a legal dispute ensued. Proposals for the creation of a new Super League competition for European clubs started in 1968 by then UEFA General Secretary Hans Bangerta to replace the European Champions Cup and the Cup Winners Cup and form the European Football League Championship, an unique club competition combining group and knockout matches, a novelty at the time. Despite that project, in that year UEFA approved to expand the club's access to its competitions, creating a third seasonal tournament. The UEFA Cup, which inaugural season took place three years later. The idea for an unique pan-European club competition gained force in the 1970s and drew legal traction in the late of the following decade. In 1987 then Milan AC, Real Madrid and Glasgow Rangers executives planned a league competition with a single round-robin format dubbed Super League by European mass media since the proposed format of the tournament was the same as that used in league championships, contrasted with the format of the European competitions, based on knockout phases since mid-1950s that would result more attractive for international television broadcasters, would be able to allow the contestant teams to earn more income, and would give them more possibilities to progressing through it for economical and management guarantees. It would run parallel to the then three European competitions since the 1991-92 season. But the project was abandoned in 1991 after UEFA announced sporting sanctions signed Daifathé. Involved clubs reformed the European Champions Cup and reducing a group stage in that season. Increasing the overall number of matches and rebranding it as Champions League in 1992 for commercial and media purposes. The following year, then UEFA president Lennart Johansson proposed, unsuccessfully, to merge the Champions League, the Cup Winners Cup and the UEFA Cup in a unique championship which the better teams in the continent would be involved. Three years later, clubs as Ajax, Barcelona, Bayern and Manchester United, to rival the Champions League, planned secretly a Super League, with 36 inches prominent, clubs split in three groups and a playoff stage for the title at the end of the season and a second competition for other 96 teams called Pro Cup to replace the Cup Winners Cup and the UEFA Cup. Both planned tournaments, based in the North American sports system, would be sponsored by Italian corporation media partners, but that project was abandoned after FIFA. UEFA and its affiliate national associations announced sanctions against all involved clubs in it. In 1998, the concept was pushed forward by media partners. However, the plan ultimately never progressed past the planning stage after UEFA moved to expand the UEFA Champions League. Various other proposals were brought forward and also failed to achieve popular approval. Amongst these, one included a long-standing ambition by the Premier League to host an overseas 39th game to capitalize on lucrative overseas markets. In 2009, Florentino Perez, the president of Real Madrid, commenced plans for a Super League competition, as he thought that the Champions League was simply too obsolete and problematic for the quality of 
the sport and was an obstacle preventing clubs from growing their businesses and developing infrastructure. In 2018, Perez began discussions with other clubs in Europe, mostly clubs from within Spain, England and Italy, about the idea of a breakaway competition that would also provide strong financial backing for all. The clubs involved, the clubs who participated in the discussions, conducted in secret, were primarily focused on exploring options for the league, unless UEFA produced new reforms for the Champions League that would be considered.